Cedric the Entertainer has sustained a successful career for more than three decades as an actor, host, and stand-up comedian. His Kings of Comedy tour was a critical and commercial success. His roles in the Barbershop movies and the Steve Harvey show are classic. And his current CBS sitcom, The Neighborhood, is now in its fourth season. Of a community like this coming together to celebrate what makes it so special, which is me. What's up? All of that, of course, is no small feat in Hollywood. Cedric, the entertainer day in the city of St. Louis. And the award-winning entertainer remains one of the biggest stars to hail from the St. Louis area. I see Flair got the all white on there. That's clean right there. When you can wear all white, that's that clean way you be over somebody's house eating barbecue like this. Throughout Cedric's journey of career highs and some lows, he could always find a loving heart to depend on back home from Rosetta Boyce Kyles his dear mother who was just thrilled about his success. You know, she definitely loved to see the rise of my career. She really got a, a, a big kick out of that. We've had an opportunity to have her come and visit me on sets and we've done, you know, photo shoots together for magazines. And so she really embraced the world of, you know, uh, how I did it and, you know, what the career that I was building. Cedric's mom witnessed special moments like when he was inducted into the St. Louis Walk of Fame in 2008. Cedric the Entertainer. And what would Rosetta have thought about her Cedric getting a star on the famous Hollywood Boulevard 10 years later? I think, of course, that just been one of those very, 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 very special proud moments for her. And she would have loved every minute of the celebration. I mean, Magic was there for me and my partner, George Lopez. All of that was like those kind of things. She'd be like, wow, look at this. You know? In 2009, when Rosetta, a longtime educator, was diagnosed with uterine cancer, he and his sister Sharita were understandably devastated, as any family would be, and wondered what steps to take next. He says the saving grace was SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital. You know, we were recommended to SSM Health at St. Mary's, where they had the, the you know uh, expert doctors in the type of cancer that she was dealing with, and really, you know, the the way that they took care of her, also very compassionate to the whole family. Of course, when someone in your family is diagnosed with cancer, it's it, you know it feels like a death sentence already, but. Throughout those years, you know, it was a family, you know, kind of oriented attitude that happened there that made me really uh, want to encourage that for other people who family are going through those kind of illnesses. Rosetta Kyles passed away in June of 2015 after a long battle with the disease. In her memory, Cedric and Sharita have devoted their time and energy to supporting SSM been fundraising for them for over 10 years and we've raised millions of dollars doing great and uh, want to continue to just do good work for them. Now for all my 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 uh, surrogate aunties and cousins and everybody that when you St. Louis, everybody's some kin to each other. And recently Cedric returned to St. Louis to present a $25,000 gift to SSM to kick off its foundation's new women's health initiative and rally the community in support. Yeah, you know, that was the main reason to come in. We uh, met, of course, with the uh, a lot of the doctors and the uh, executives at the hospital uh, just to talk about what it is that we're going to do. And then we did a lot of press just letting people know that this is going to be an ongoing uh, initiative so you have an opportunity to give year-long, uh, more like a, a crowdsourcing kind of, you know, fundraising circumstance. So as you see fit, you get a little extra something. The funds raised will extend and improve women's health care with dedicated focus on the unique needs and issues important to women. Uh, think about your aunts, think about your cousins, think about that lady that, uh, that's your favorite that you know may need a little help getting to the doctor. Uh, donate $50, $100, whatever it is you can do. That's what this program is all about.